I was saying to the camera, how close you are, not you. What is it? I take Done? Done? Okay. We talk about our vocabulary. Many teachers don't like to count, but I do because I need to learn the vocabulary of my language from A to Z. So for me, it's easy to put them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what it is the parallel, thank you, the parallel system. We really need to have in consideration of the ellipse because if you see, this is even, this is elegant. Not only elegant, this gives me dissociation. A dissociation that I used to walk all the time. If it's not for this dissociation, I cannot walk. So it means I have to do this dissociation. So projecting with the hip open gives me the dissociation already, and it keeps me in front of my partner. In close embrace, this is vital. Vital. Because if I point there, my body is going to be there, it's broken. So when I have very clear those vocabularies, I also see is another critical point of the cross. It has to be longer and away. Why longer and away? Because longer and away, longer, generate a new energy. If I don't cross the woman, I use this calm energy. And I step next to the feet. So that prevents for her to cross. But if I want her to cross, the fact of go longer and away, it changed my body posture, can you see? And I send this leg a little bit behind this one. So when I collect, Magically, the cross happened. Ladies, when you cross, you cross with the ball of the feet under your rib cage because this one is the standing leg. But in the future, it's going to be this one, and it has to be taking the weight under. Please do not use the heel when you cross because it's going to break your posture. Use the ball of the feet. The ball of the feet that will take you to a very nice projection. One of the things important is after you learn how to express these eight words one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You can start to mix them and have many, many different possibilities. We told you to do side by side, or two, eight, four, five, four, four, five, two, three, seven, eight, one. You have 175 combinations you can use to dance. And kind of using this vocabulary is going to look like that. In a good embrace, as you can see, I'm using seven, eight, one, two, three, look, four, two, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, seven, eight, one, two, three, seven, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, seven, eight, one, two, seven, eight, one. You can do an entire dance using only this vocabulary. In class, we're going to add it. So we can hopefully dance freely and improvisation now uh, at the beginning. Thank you very much. The class is over.